Hi everyone, Sheila here with my weekly update. This week I'm not in the studio, I'm at home and I want to share with you this week um, a little bit about this book, uh, The Story of Art Without Men. Not sure if you can see that by Katie Hessel. Um, I've just got my hands on this book and as you can see I've already started <laughs> highlighting bits. Um, really, really interesting read, thoroughly recommend it. Um, because, as you probably know, and if you don't, I'm just going to tell you, uh, the history of art quite often um, has ignored, belittled, um, and yeah, and just, I'm going to say it again, ignored the role of women artists. Um, the patriarchy, <laughs> let's call a spade a spade, um, has done its best uh, to make sure that women, or made, make sure it was very difficult for women to be taken seriously as artists, to actually get into art school. Um, and even now, um, there's still discrepancy, although we do have, thank goodness, we do have some very well-recognised contemporary female artists. We don't have as many as men, uh, as many women artists as men. And certainly the price, the cost of and the value of work by women is considerably less than the work of male artists. Um, but this, this is a really interesting book because it takes another look at, at history. And uh, I suppose it's good to read in tandem with that other well-known book called The History of Art, which in its first edition only, well, actually didn't have any women in it. I think it has three now. Um, but it's really fascinating. It's really, really well written. It's it's quite um, short. It won't give you a comprehensive history of art, but it will give you enough. And if you're like me, um, and know a little bit about art history. Um, it's just so interesting to to find out about some other people, quite a lot of whom I had never heard about. So I can't highlight everything to you, but um, it did. There was one uh, image from uh, 1874 by an artist called Lady Butler, who I had never heard of. Um, and if you have heard of, um, well, good on you. Um, and it's called this, I don't know if you can you can see it there. Um, it's a battle scene and it's called Calling the Roll After an Engagement. And it was a scene um, based on the Crimea War, Crimean War. Um, and it was shown in the Royal Academy and it was hugely successful. In fact, it was so popular that there were queues of up to a mile long to see this picture. I never heard of it. Now, queuing's been quite um, prominent recently in, in London. We've spent a lot of time, or our media have spent a lot of time talking about queues. Um, but imagine that, people were queuing up to a mile long. People were queuing to see this picture by a female artist. Um, and even, even even John Ruskin had to maybe slightly grudgingly <laughs> um, acknowledge that it was quite good, even for a woman. But she just faded into obscurity. Um, she was one of the lucky ones in that point that she came from quite a rich family. So her parents had money and they encouraged her and she was able to study art. Um, but that was very rare, at, you know, at, at that point in time. Um, but isn't it funny how someone who can cause that much of, um, I suppose, just um, interest in art. And even Queen Victoria at the time wanted to buy the painting, just faded into obscurity. Really, really interesting, isn't it? Anyway, I'm really enjoying this book. Um, it's, yeah, as I say, just giving me another insight into... Um, a lot of female artists that I had never heard of before and their work's amazing. Um, so if you are looking for something to read um, and you're interested in getting a bit of an alternative history of art, then I would thoroughly recommend this book. It's really, really good. And again, when we're talking about art, it's really important for all of us to use these references and not just talk about the male artists that dominate everything. Let's try and reference women as and when we can. But um, that's me, my little kind of lecture over for, for this week. I hope you're all keeping well and I'll be back very soon with some updates on my own work. Until then, take care. Bye for now.